What's up everybody? Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly light a scene using Arnold in Maya 2025. Okay, so I quickly modeled a room here, just a little box, an open box with the Unreal Man scale um, in the room. And then there are some few little weird things that I noticed uh, in Maya when it came to rendering an Arnold. So I just wanted to take all my learnings and just share that with everybody here. So the very first thing is uh, you might be noticing I have like this box. Um, it's a resolution gate. It kind of allows, it shows you what is actually in the camera. Uh, so to quickly do that, you need to go to view, go to camera settings, turn on resolution gate. Okay. Okay. Now in your scene, very first thing you'll likely do is you'll press the uh, seven key to light things. Um, you're not going to have any of these lights. So it's going to look like something like this, right? Uh, and then you're going to go to create, go to lights, and then you're going to, you know, naturally you might just go to the very first light, which is an ambient light. You're going to toss that into here and you notice that everything's all blown out. And then when you go to Arnold, you go to rend open Arnold render view. You have this okay um, now I'm gonna quickly press the play button and it's going to render and even though in your viewport it's shown like completely blown out it's actually not rendering okay so ambient light I was unable to actually get to work okay so I'm just going to hide that now and same thing goes for the volume light I was unable to get the volume light to work even though it shows in the lighting view, right? It shows in the lighting view that there's lights here, okay? So those two, I would completely avoid, okay? If you wanna quickly go in and light something, go and use um, these other lights that I'm gonna show you here, okay? So let's go to point light. So in the point light, I'm actually gonna get out of lighting mode in my viewport because it's completely inaccurate, right? Um, so you put in a point light, right? I can move it and you can see it reacting uh, in the camera here, uh, real time uh, with the Arnold viewer when you press the play button, right? Now the settings on this naturally, when it, when you first put it in, it's actually going to be a one. Now look what happens here. It's going to be completely black and you have to crank this up to about at least 10,000 or even more than that, 100,000 actually, for you to even see the light. Okay, now this was something that I ran into uh, that I didn't realize that you need to crank up these the intensity of these lights quite a bit for it to even show, okay? Okay, so then let's do directional light. Directional light, it's just pointing right right into it, right into um, the room and the, the, the mannequin, right? So there it is here. Um, let me just rotate this. You can see how, how it's, how it looks. Um, and for this directional light intensity, um, it was set to one and it was fine. Um, but sorry, not fine. You need to set it to at least, I believe hundred for it to even start to look okay. Um, so yeah, so just heads up, you do need to play around with these settings and it's really weird. It's very, it's complete. It's really inconsistent as well. Right. Uh, in terms of you had one light that was fine with a, with a hundred thousand. And then all of a sudden your directional light is not good. Um, so let's say you wanted like a blasted sun or something, then a hundred would be good. Let's go like 50. Okay, and then now let's turn back on. See now, but now that blows out the the point light. Do here so we can kind of shine that there. Okay, uh, spotlight. So let me show you spotlight. I'm gonna hide the other ones just so you can see. So here's the spotlight. Uh, we're gonna quickly zoom out here. So I have the spotlight kind of up top. Uh, this is at a hundred thousand right now, and it's still not bright enough. Right, so now you have to go to 1 million to finally get something where you can see uh, the character. 
I mean, here's an area light. Uh, this is an area light that I'm just pointing up into the corner there. And that one, I also have it set to 100,000. So pretty much everything needs to be cranked up to like 100,000 except for the directional light. The directional light, you can have this a lot less than that. Uh, let me just even hide this top wall here. And then let's just have this directional light shooting through. Let's point it down even. I'm going to remove the spotlight and the area light so that all you have is the directional light. And let me just bring this up just a tad bit here. Just get in here and let's just even crank this up to 100. So 100 would obviously blow that out. Put the 50 for now but yeah so again these are the four that you want to be using in arnold you want to use the point light directional light spotlight and area light play around the the values you need to crank those up and then for the volume light and the ambient light you want to avoid those for um, arnold um, if you just want to do quickly throw in stuff um, to light your scene uh, and get some Nice Arnold rendering. Hopefully that helps out. See you all next time.